Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> My voice is still like all over the place. I sound like a boy in puberty. But we'll get by. Okay, I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So all the makeup you're about to see is gonna be available right there and I'm gonna pin it. Okay, and then I'm gonna share this to my other pages. I have one page called Beauty by Raya Hope and um, that's kind of where I store most of my tutorials. If you're wanting to just like have an easy search area. Um, and then I also have a group which is called Beauty by Raya Hope. So make sure that you are in both of those. And then if you wanna be real Facebook friends, I also have um, a Facebook, like a normal person, and that's called Raya Hope. So, how do I change that? Hold on. Hmm. I always share from a phone. I don't ever share from a computer, so I'm trying to figure out how to do that. But in the meantime, <laughs> while you guys watch me struggle, um, just go ahead and click that share button too. So that way everybody can watch. Hmm, it used to be possible to share. I don't know how. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give up. Hello, good morning everybody. All right, I give up. I was trying to share it to my Facebook, like my normal one. Well, I can't figure out how to do that. Used to be a rat there. Hmm, oh well, okay. Yay, I know the stick eyeshadows I haven't been using obviously because they're not available to buy. And I hate using stuff you guys can't get, but I know a lot of you guys actually got it in the Black Friday bundle. And I was hearing rumors that it might be coming to like the core line in the new year. So I figured I'd at least get a tutorial up. That way you guys can reference it later. Cause I don't know if you guys knew this, but all of my tutorials are saved here on Facebook. So if you have bought in like a combo from me or like lipstick or whatever, and you're wanting to see that, um, you can always search that in all of my pages. So, and I always make sure that I upload all of my tutorials on YouTube channel, on YouTube channel, oh my gosh on my YouTube channel, which is super easy to find. You just uh, search Raya Hope on YouTube. So you guys can always reference that there too. But we're gonna go ahead and throw on our foundation. When I'm doing just like really quick, flawless foundation, I always reach for my Liquid Touch. It's probably my favorite, um, just cause it's incredible coverage. It has really, really great hold all day long. And that's all we're gonna be using today. It's just a liquid foundation as far as coverage wise. And I'm using the shade Lace today. My favorite way to apply it is the powder concealer brush, which is this guy. It just applies it so quickly and so beautifully. So that is what we're doing. And you guys, look at that coverage. I only have one eye covered right now. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Completely hides any discolorations. And it's so soft on your skin. Doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all, which I love that. I hate feeling like... I can't touch my face or that I have like a face full of makeup. I hate that feeling. So I love that this is so light. Always bring down your neck. Always, always, always. So important to make sure that you're blending down because the sun is like shining and th the sun is like shining. <laughs> I feel like such a tard today, but um, when the sun hits your face, it tans your face. Also is tanning your chest. It never is hitting your actual neck unless you're literally tanning your neck like this because the shadow from your face blocks it. So even a perfect color match is still not gonna look like it's a perfect match because your neck is always gonna be a different color. So it's so important to make sure that you're blending it all the way down instead of just sticking to your jawline. So make sure that you're always doing that. Yes, oh my goodness, I have a favorite self tanner. It's called Glow Pro. Message me and I can give you the link to it. And I'll also give you my coupon code for you guys to save but they have a facial one. I love it because it's super hydrating. A lot of uh, self tanners that I've used are like really drying 
and I have psoriasis on like my knees, my elbows really bad. So I need something that's very hydrating. And I also, I have kids. Like I can't be self tanning every single day or even once a week. Um, so I love Glow Pro's self tanner, but message me, I'll give you the link to it. Hello, good morning. If I miss anyone's comment, just holler them out again. I'm just wiping my brush on my blending bun and I'm gonna grab just a little bit more of that on my finger and just tapping it around my face. And I'm wearing, I think I'm wearing the shade lace. Yes, I am. Okay. And then we're taking the blending bud and now we're just gonna blend everything in. And this is gonna ensure that our makeup looks super, super amazing and very, very smooth. So if you have large pores or fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that, the blending buds are so crucial on getting your makeup to look flawless and like really set into your skin. So if you feel like your makeup's just not like sitting right, Definitely grab the blending buds. They are life-changing. And then these are different from like a beauty blender you'd get at like Walmart. They're made from a different material. They actually kind of feel like wetsuit material, but they don't pick up the makeup and like make you put more on. So they actually help your makeup last longer. Go further. And then they get in all these hard to reach areas. Hi, Lisa. Yes, the Liquid Touch is so lightweight and you guys, it's on sale this month and this month's kudos. So if you're new and you don't know what the kudos is, it's basically like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. This month it's amazing. You get the mascara, a lip product, and any of your foundation choices. So you get those three things on sale, which is such a good deal. So Liquid Touch, um, your choice of lipstick, and your choice of mascara. So what a great present, right? So if you are ordering from me and you're wanting something in time for Christmas or are you buying for someone, if you place your order by the 18th and choose expedited shipping, which is only $8, they lowered the price. I think it was like $12 or something crazy. And so now the expedited shipping, it's only eight bucks. So, which is a score for shipping. So do the expedited shipping, you'll get it in time for Christmas Eve. So plenty enough time to wrap it, stick it under the tree. So still plenty of time. What's today? The 15th, I think. So you still have a few more days. All right, so now I'm taking my Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza. I'm wiping some of that off. I always squeeze too much out. But it's so opaque, meaning you can't see through it. And it's really, really nice and brightening for your under eye. So we're just going to blend that in. And then I always take it up onto my eyelids. Helps to kind of conceal my darker eyelids as well. Do you Christmas shop for your whole family? Yes, oh my gosh, I do. We have a huge family on both sides, my side and my husband, and I have always been like a gifter. Like I love giving presents, so I love it. I love this time of year, but I'm a planner. Like I'm not one to like wait till December to like shop for everyone. I start shopping really like all year long. If I see something that I know someone would like or whatever, so I have a little stash that I like keep all my presents. Hello from Arizona. Are you, who is all done with your Christmas shopping? I'm, I, I think I'm done. I'm just waiting for a few more things to come in the mail and I am finished, thank the Lord. All right, so that was the concealer. You guys, look at this coverage. So it's not amazing. Like completely hides any redness, discolorations, you name it, poof, gone. So that is just these two products. That's it, that's all I have on my skin besides my primer. So technically, if we wanna get technical with it, I have these on my face right now. So I do setting spray, primer, setting spray, and then I do foundation and concealer. So that was it. That's this coverage. Not incredible, I love it. It's so good, so good. All right, so now for oily skin. If you have oily skin, you're gonna love what I'm about to show you. This helps your makeup stay in place legit all day long, like until one in the morning. So if you are somewhere where you can't, touch up your makeup, which that's most of us. The setting powder is so amazing. And you can get it for free this month with an order of $200 all month long. But the only like, the only catch is that you need to message me before you place your order. I know, right? If you love dewy, if you have dry skin, you don't have to set it, you could leave it like this. But I do recommend always make sure you're setting your makeup in some way, shape or form because you don't want it to transfer, like on your phone or when you hug people or anything like that. So my favorite way to set it is using the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just taking globs of it and popping it all over my skin. I'm using this technique, it's called baking. Basically, it's just taking a lot of translucent setting powder and popping it all over your skin. What it does is it draws out those natural oils 
or prevents any natural oils like if I was working in a kitchen or if it was really humid outside um, or if you're going through menopause or anything like that, it's gonna absorb any of that oil or that sweat and suck it in instead of pushing against your foundation, making it come off or transfer or just all together melt. <laughs> so that was the Touch Bowl Translucent Setting Powder and I popped the cap off mine. Normally it comes with a little mesh cap, which is nice. It helps you not like overuse it, but I want to overuse it because I have oily skin. But if you have dry skin to normal skin, you could totally utilize that little mesh plating. And then you could apply it with like a tapered brush like this. Just tap it in and then you tap it on. It was a setting spray that was in the bundle. What was the setting spray that was in one of the bundles? Setting spray is this guy. There's also an aluminizer setting spray, which is this one. It's like a rose gold spray. I haven't actually used that one either. <clears throat> this year we gave family of four children who, oops. Oh, wow, good for you guys. That's awesome. Thank you. I am feeling like perfectly fine. It's just that, you know that cough that just will not go away? That's what I have. So annoying, but I'm taking my oils and my elderberry and all of that, so I'm sure I'll be fine soon. Okay, so now for my dry skin, ladies. So you just saw me bake, and some of you are gonna think, oh, I can't do that, it's gonna accentuate my fine lines, but I still wanna set my makeup, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder, so technically this is a powder foundation, so it's on sale in the kudos, but you're gonna grab this, and you're gonna take a dry beauty blender, any beauty blender's fine, and you're gonna grab that, and I just kinda tap it in the product to get it on there, and then I'm gonna push this on my under eye. So this is gonna set any of that concealer, but look at how it brightens. It's gonna make your under eye look tighter, brighter, more youthful, more wide awake. And we're just kind of pushing this on. This is also gonna help to prevent under eye creasing. So if you experience that, there's nothing I hate more than when your under eye gets all creasy. So, and then we're gonna take our fan brush by Unique and just kind of fan that away. because we don't want a ton of product on there, just enough to set it. All right, so now that we've fully set our makeup, now we're gonna even out our coverage and give us a little bit more coverage. So if you are falling on a budget or you want something that sets it, gives you a flawless finish, but you don't have time or you don't wanna use that much powder, this is what you would do. You would take your pressed powder, your foundation, where's my concealer, and your concealer, and this would be your coverage. So you can get both of these things on sale on the Kudos. So perfect time to grab them is now because you can get both of them on sale and then you could choose two different uh, mascaras you could do the 40 and you can do the waterproof epic like I do and then you can get two different lip products you can get the lipstick and you get the lip gloss so you could essentially get two kudos today and save and you would get your setting powder and your hydrating face primer for free so those two things come for free with any order of $200 but the only catch is that you need to message me before you place your order so I can set you up a link um, hi, Ryan. Merry Christmas. Thanks for the spray foundation. Yes, the spray foundation is amazing. Oh, I know. This cough is going around, I swear. Banish the spray foundation slightly. Show the baby cream liquid in this way. And the pressed powder is on top. What's the difference between the original setting spray and the luminizing? So, the luminizing is supposed to be like, it gives you like a dewy finish. Yeah, I've heard that trick, Jennifer. That's a good idea. Yes, the foundation stick is really, really good if you have dry skin. Stick eyeshadows are your favorite? Awesome. I haven't actually tried them yet, so I'm excited. Harley, you want the spray foundation? Yeah, so the spray foundation is really amazing um, if you love like flawless, fast coverage. Most of them, not most of them, but some of them, the popular shades are out of stock. So I've been keeping tabs on those, and I'm gonna make sure that I give you guys alerts when that gets back in stock. So if you wanna be alerted when like Eyelit, which is a popular shade, comes back, just sign up for my texting subscribe, like opt in, and it's super easy. All you have to do is text this phone number. You text Raya Hope, which I'll write it right here so you can see it. Raya Hope to 83361. So you're gonna text on your phone 83361, and that'll opt you in to receive my notifications. I always let you guys know when I go live, and then I let you guys know when big things that you're waiting for come back in stock. All right, so now we're using the pressed powder in the shade Satin, which is like my true shade. And I'm just tapping this all over my skin. And this is not only giving us a really amazing porcelain doll, like airbrushed finish, but it's also evening everything out and giving us that like really great setting powder. So our makeup is literally not gonna budge all day. It's not gonna come off on our phone. It's not gonna come off when we hug people. 
and it's looking so incredibly flawless and it's also taking away that dewy look so if you're not a fan of the dewy look i'm not really i mean i like it a little bit but not like overly this is my fave and these pressed powders you guys are made with older women in mind so i get told all the time oh i'm 60 i can't wear pressed powder and that could be true for other pressed powders, but this pressed powder you can use. It is so silky soft. It's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. So message me for the link to this and I can give you, um, I'll give you the link. It's the only way I get credit for it. So um, now for bronzer. So contouring, I know can be like really scary. I feel like the YouTube bloggers nowadays have made it like really intimidating and doesn't need to be that way. So beach from bronzer, tapered blusher brush. So all you're going to need, I always tap it in the product and then I swirl on the cap, tap, tap. And then you're going to go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. And you're just going to keep that area in mind. So you're just going to swish back and forth and then you're going to turn the brush and you're going to swirl over that. And it's going to really soften that lineup and just make it look like it warms up your complexion and also is giving you some bone structure. Yes, message me and I can give you the link. So for the makeup and the brushes, everything is gonna be available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Be sure to check out the kudos and the collections for discounted items. So if you're trying to make your dollar stretch, which who isn't nowadays, right? So make sure you check out the kudos and the collections. And then if you're wanting those free products, and your order gets up to $200, message me before you place it so I can set you up a link to earn you those free products. Actually, just use concealer for my under eyes. Yay, good idea. Love it. Does a bronzer have shimmer in it? So, yes and no. It appears that it has shimmer in it, but when it's on, it's not glittery, it's not shimmery, it's not anything, but it's also not matte. So, I personally love it because I don't. I feel like you don't look dirty or heavy with it on. Like it doesn't look like you just put mud stripes on your face and blended it out. It makes it look like it's a sun-kissed glow. Like it's just a little bit of warmth. Like it looks natural rather than like a straight contour line. So I personally love it. I think they nailed it on the formula. It's so easy to blend and it looks just so soft on your skin. So this is the shade Hermosa, which is the middle shade. So if you're wanting something a little bit lighter or more natural, you can go with the shade Sunset, which is the lightest shade. Yes, it's glowy, exactly. So it's not shimmery at all. But when, you're, when you get your bronzer in the mail, you're going to look at it and be like, I didn't expect it to look like it had two sides because it does. You have like one completely matte side and then one side that looks like it has a shimmer. But I assure you, there is no glitter. There is no shimmer. It is so, it's perfect. Foundation that's full coverage is the Liquid Touch and the Spray Foundation. The Stick Foundation is also full coverage, but all of our foundation options are buildable. It just depends what type of skin you have. If you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, if you have combo. So make sure that you message me before you place your order and I can tell you what foundation would be the best option. But all of the foundations are on sale on the Kudos. Hello from Texas. I always get a smile line when I contour. So Haley, I would make sure that you're using the tapered blusher brush definitely. And I would try not to take it too far. Maybe stop a little sooner, not so close to your face or to your, to your mouth. I'm not doing a smoky eye today, but we're going to do the stick foundation. It's kind of like a bronzy eye look. All right. So now for blush, I can't stop using this. I'm so glad it's back in stock. It was killing me not being able to use it because it was available for you guys. This is the blush in the shade Sisterly. It's by far, hands down, the best blush I've ever used in my life. It is so, so beautiful. Just simply gives you this flush color and look at that glow. So this does have a glow to it. Again, not a shimmer or glitter, just simply a luminizer, but it acts as a highlight and a blush in one, which is great, especially if you're balling on budget but I love just how soft it is. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing clown makeup or like I did a stripe of blush all over the place. Just simply gives you that flushed color, but also really complements your contour and your bone structure. Isn't that so pretty? So that's the shade Sisterly in the blush. Um, slay on one side, but it's not shimmer at all. Yes, exactly. Just hopped on, what foundation are you wearing? I'm wearing the Liquid Touch foundation in the shade Lace today. All right, so now for my highlight, I do love a good highlight, especially during the holidays. So my favorite go-to right now has been the Touch of the Mode Luminizer, and this is the stick. This is the cream to powder, and I have been loving this 
color in the shade Pearly. So we're using our finger and just kind of tapping it on the highest parts of our cheekbone. The warmth from our hand is gonna melt the product into our foundation so it doesn't look like we have a stripe on our face, but it's going to really draw the attention to your bone structure. It's so flattering, it photographs so well. So if you've been feeling like your makeup's been looking dull lately or just wanna pop as something special, the touch level mode luminizers are the way to go. So now we're gonna use the shade Pearly, but in the powder form. And now it's gonna to cling to that cream and it's just gonna really pop. Oh, it's so pretty. And any fluffy brush would do. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna go right over that. Isn't that pretty? So it essentially goes highlight, blush, bronzer, but I like to build it up the other way. And it doesn't matter if things overlap. Like you don't need it to be perfect. That's one thing that I learned with makeup is that I would get so hard on myself that, oh, it needs to look exact, like it can't overlap, they can't touch. Like it doesn't matter. Like the more kind of relaxed you are with your makeup, the better it's gonna come out. Don't have so much pressure on yourself. All right, so now we're going to comb through our brows with the lash brow comb, get any foundation out of there. And then now I'm gonna take this metal side and comb through my lashes. This is so important for getting your lashes to look really amazing with your mascara. Mascara isn't designed to comb through your lashes. It's designed to put mascara on. So if you've ever been feeling like your makeup looks, or your mascara looks clumpy, definitely grab the lash brow comb. It's gonna save you. I clean my brushes with this laundry detergent bar called Zote, Z-O-T-E. You can get it at Walmart. It's like 99 cents. I use it kind of like as a washboard. I have um, tutorials on how to wash my makeup brushes on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram. So if you search Rhea Hope on Instagram or YouTube, you're gonna find my, my videos. Um, go look where it says kudos, yes. K-U-D-O-S, kudos. So yes, if you click my website, rayahopebeauty.com, and then you click kudos, you get to pick all three products. And if you're not sure what lipstick to get, or what foundation color, all I need is a selfie facing a window, and I can give you a full recommendation on what products to get, what combo, all of that. Even if you're more of a less is more kind of gal, and you're like, oh, I don't want full, like I don't want a full face, but I still want something that makes me feel put together, I can help you build that too. All right, so for brows, I'm doing the brow pencil in the shade medium. It's by far my favorite product for doing my eyebrows. It's so fast, it's so easy. And it makes, honestly, such a huge difference when you draw your brows versus leaving them alone. Look how much higher up this side of my face looks than this side. Isn't that crazy? Makes it look like I have so much more room, so much room for activities. <laughs> so much more room for eyeshadow versus this side. This side looks a little bit messy, a little more droopage. So if you have hooded eyes or slanted eyes or you're just wanting your eyes to look more open, definitely grab the brow pencil. And all I'm doing, I need to grab a new one. This one's like almost gone. I just had one and then disappears. Aha. Okay, Scotty. So brow pencil and medium has a retractable tip too, so you never have to worry about sharpening it. But what I do basically is I just outline my brow. So go from the top when you get to the top of the brow and then you're gonna drag it all the way through to the arch. And then once you get to the arch, then you're gonna take it down through the tail, fling through the tail, and then see how it has all this sparse area. You're gonna take your pencil and put it right in the front, and then you're gonna very lightly drag this together so it completes it. And then now you're just gonna basically color in. And I'm just moving my pencil in the direction of my hair. So this hair's going back, so obviously we'll go back, and then this hair in the front goes up. I never use you guys as my mirror to do this. <laughs> Just like that. And then you can go as bold as you want. So I like my brows to look a little more bold and pressure in which you're pushing on your pencil. If you want them to look really dark or really bold, pushing really hard is gonna achieve that. If you want them to look really light, very natural, just simply give you like open up your eyes but not look like you were trying to draw on your brows, try using less pressure. So holding your pencil like almost like a chopstick. So holding your pencil very lightly will help with that. You can also turn this pencil around and grab the spoolie side and you can comb through your brows like this. It's gonna soften it up. So if you ever feel like, oh gosh, 
I did it too dark or it looks too intense, take that brush. And again, pressure in which you're pushing really, really helps. Um, I'll give you the link to all my rings, my outfit and everything over on my Instagram as soon as I get off here. So if you want any links or anything, make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Instagram stories, which is super easy. All you have to do is click on my profile picture on Instagram, which my name on there is Rhea Hope. We're actually at our new house this morning and I know you guys have been loving the renovation updates. So I give you guys the newest update on the house this morning. It's like, I'm so stressed out with it. <laughs> It's like total crunch time. We move in on uh, the first week of January. Go watch my stories and you will feel my stress. Okay, we move in like three weeks, like less than three weeks. And go see, go see what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> ah, so pray for me. All right, the brow pencil isn't super creamy, but it does glide on. Does it feel like you're drawing with like a pencil? It feels more like a lip liner. Just about the top a couple more days worth oh good idea um i have tonight so either way too light or what looks too dark with fine makeup what you suggest i start doing um linda start using a lighter hand that really really helps yes exactly so all of the collections are discounted yes message me kim i can definitely help you okay so now for eyes you guys ready for this brow pencil or the brow pencil, the eyeshadow pencil. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my bronzer and I'm gonna take the fluffy crease brush and we're just gonna pop this in the crease. I'm just like tapping it in here, tap it on. And I just kinda want a transition shade because honestly, I've never used this product before. I have no idea what it's gonna look like or how it's gonna go on. I know, moving is already stressful enough, but like I'm not too stressed about the actual move. I'm more stressed about like what we're moving into. <laughs> because it's like, it's still like 1001% construction zone. Our bedrooms are pretty much done. The carpet goes in on the 17th. So what is that, Tuesday? So I know I'll start feeling better once the carpet's in, because it'll start looking like homier. But yeah, it's still insane right now. We're trying to get all the messy demo stuff done before we move in, but you guys know how that is. It's always like, there's always something. All right, so now that we have our bronzer, on. Now I'm going to take this. This is the eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade Energetic. It's this bronzy color. I have no idea how to technically apply this, so we're going to learn together. But what my tendency is, I just want to draw it on. So let's see how this works. I actually do have some of, I think I have one of these for sale um, that I bought. I bought a, I might have two. Don't quote me on that, but I know I have one for sure. So if you want it, first one to message me gets it. I'll be selling it for the retail price. All right, so I'm just taking this and so far, first impression, I freaking love this. This is so easy. It's not messy at all. I'm literally just, you're, you're witnessing this. I'm just like coloring. It's kind of fun actually. And when I get to the arch, or I'm sorry, when I get to the crease, just kind of dragging this back and forth like this. Oh my gosh, these are kind of fun. I really do, they're not available, like I said, on the website, but I know a lot of you guys got them in the mail with the Black Friday deals. So I wanted to at least have one tutorial for you guys to reference. Hello, hi guys. So message me if you want it, but first person to do so. I have, I think I have um, one in every color. I have two green, I think. I should have looked, I'm sorry. Message me if you guys want one or any of them. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm kind of a fan, you guys, that was really easy. I know a lot of people do their makeup in the car. That would probably be the easiest thing in the world to do with this product. And now I'm just gonna take my fluffy crease brush and just blend out that part. But you guys, that's so easy. Oh, I hope they add these. All right, so we're done with our eyes. So now let's do, let's set our makeup and then we'll do our lips and our lashes. They blend very well. I use the green, the outer corner crease. Ooh, good idea, Rachel. Hello. Okay, so setting our makeup. So I, another question I always get is my makeup's coming off of my phone. How do I prevent that? Setting spray. Setting spray is so crucial with your makeup. Not only can you use it as a primer, which is what I do, 
Um, I use it as my primer and I use it as my setting spray, but it's gonna take away that like makeup-y look and the powdery look. It really just makes everything look super duper flawless. Keeps everything in place all day. So we're just gonna fan that dry and then now we're gonna do our lashes. And the first thing I use is the lash primer. It's a crime not to prime. Same thing goes for your lashes. It hydrates them, it helps them curl, and it gives them even more length and volume. You should put the green on the outer bottom. Oh, that's a good idea. I am only gonna use the one today. I just wanted to get like a really simple look today. We're not doing anything too schnazzy or special, but there are definitely a ton of different ways you could use all of them. I want the one color. Yes, you'll just need to message me. All right, so now we're gonna do this side. And like I said, this is gonna help to curl them and give you crazy, crazy length and volume. All right, so now that we have that on, and I also like it too, because it almost add, acts as like a roadmap where to put your, your mascara. All right, and then when I get off here, you guys, I'm actually gonna be hopping right back on to do a try-on haul with Style Snob. We're gonna do this really gorgeous try-on haul, some really fun holiday pieces, and she ships like so fast. So if you're still needing any outfits or outfit inspiration for um, any holiday parties, Christmas Eve, Christmas, definitely make sure that you tune in a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be trying on is really not, I wanna say it's casual, but obviously it's like holiday casual. So I know a lot of people like to be comfortable during the holidays, cause you're like cooking and you're bending over to help kids open presents, that's how I am. I know I always try to wear pants on Christmas day. So make sure that you tune in. I'll be here on my, the same page you're watching me now. And we're also gonna be doing a really fun giveaway, so. Make sure that you sign up for my texting subscribe. I'll make sure to send out my text before I go live. So in about 30 minutes, we'll go live to do that. I haven't seen anyone use the green yet. Oh, all right, maybe I'll pull out the green. Fine, you guys win. All right, so 4D mascara on. You guys, this mascara comes on sale on the kudos. Okay, so once that's on, I've been loving doing this lately, taking the Waterproof Epic Mascara and then popping this on right on top. Not only does it give you even more length of volume, I love the wand on this. It comes through your lashes really nice, but it also makes your lashes waterproof. So if you struggle with your lashes um, smudging or anything, make sure you set your makeup before you do your lashes. And then also, um, what was I gonna say? Also do the Epic Waterproof. <laughs> Thanks, babe. She saw the sticks to cry, not to prime. That's right. Your eyes look amazing. Did you do a little tight line? Um, I did my eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which I always do. All right, so we're gonna do this because someone wants it. You guys all want it, which is fine. All right, we're gonna do the Brow Artist Brush and I'm gonna take the green one, which is in the shade Dramatic. And I'm gonna just take this and just like sweep it along this side. And then we're gonna line the bottom. Just slightly, I don't want like crazy greenness, but you guys know I always like to do this part so I get away with not wearing mascara on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, same thing on this side. Line it. This is like a perfect way to include in the holidays without being like crazy with your eyeshadow. And this brush is like perfect for doing this. The liner shader, or I'm sorry, the brow artist brush. Cause it's really dainty. So if you're wanting to do this step, but you don't want it to look too smoked out, brow artist brush. That's kind of fun. Who likes that? Who's the fan of that? I kind of like it a lot actually. So good call on whoever recommended that. That's fun. Okay, so now for lips, we're gonna do my favorite lipstick combo. Like favorite, favorite, hands down, recommend to everyone. I've been selling this this brand for almost four years. It'll be four years in February, which is so crazy. And I'm not kidding, it's been my favorite combo all year, or all year, all four years. It looks good on everyone. Like if you have been trying to look for a lip combo 
and you don't think anything looks good on you, which you guys are all crazy, whoever thinks that, this one will. So first thing you're gonna do is the lip liner in the shade Prudent. And you're gonna line our lips with this. My favorite color, obviously. Use it almost in every single tutorial. Yeah, the green's fun. And I think I have, I know I have at least one. So message me if you guys want them. Okay. And then I'm just gonna fill in my lips. Filling in your lips with these lip liners is such a good idea because the lip liners are smudge proof. They last all day long and they're super creamy. So it's a perfect way to get your lipstick to last all day. Because even if your lipstick's not smudge proof, your lip liner is. So as your lipstick fades, your lip liner still stays in place, which a little trick. All right, so now we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade Upscale. I'm telling you, this color looks good on everyone. Everyone, it's so good. It's this pretty, like satiny, pink. It's like a nude pink. All right, so we're gonna get that on. And then I always take my finger and blend this out. And this color, for whatever reason, makes my lips look so pouty. Like more so than any other lipstick color I have. I have no idea why, but it does. All right, so now I'm gonna take the lip gloss in the shade Luxe and top it. Isn't that pretty? Just very everyday, looks so gorgeous. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a combination, this is it. So upscale and uh, Lux in the lip gloss. Where'd my lipstick go? Oh, there it is. So this month in the Kudos, you get your foundation, you get your lip product, and you get your mascara of your choice. So you get all three of these, and then you can get another one where you get your pressed powder, your lip gloss, and where's my there you go and your epic waterproof so you can get all of these on sale in the kudos you can get another one even you can even do the bb flawless to mix with your liquid touch you can get the brown um epic mascara for brow gel and then you can get your lip stain or your lip bonbon there's like sky's the limit with the lip product it's such a good deal i love this month's kudos um, I probably reapply my lipstick once throughout the day, to be totally honest with you. Like the lip liner really makes a big difference. Um, and also another trick to getting your lip products to last all day is when you put them on, don't eat or drink anything for like five to 10 minutes because it allows whatever lip product you're wearing to saturate your lips. So it actually helps to prolong the wear of them throughout the day. So that's my little trick as well. Um, what brown? Nikki, message me and I can give you recommendations. If you guys need any recommendations on color, on foundation, anything, just shoot me a selfie facing a window or just let me know what you need help picking out and I can help you. Um, for the eyes, I did the eyeshadow sticks, but I'm actually going to, you can achieve this same exact look with products that we actually already have on the website. So if you go to rayahopebeauty.com and you want a similar color, for your eyes, if you grab the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious, let me pull it out for you guys so you can see it. It looks exactly like this, actually. So you can totally achieve the same look. So this is the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious. Isn't that the same? It'll look exactly like it. So if you really like this look, um, grab the Splurge Cream Shadow in Tenacious, and then they also have a pressed eyeshadow that's a green color that you can line underneath with. So if you need recommendations for like, yes, I want it, message me and I can give you um, like those colors so you can shoot, still get away with wearing this look uh, with what we already have. Yes, I love it. So awesome. These products are amazing. And we have a love it guarantee too. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can always return it for your money back. If you're shopping for anyone, like I said, you can get all of this by Christmas as long as you choose expedited shipping. And that goes until the 18th, which is Wednesday. So you have till Wednesday to get your order in before... Um, so you can get guaranteed by Christmas Eve and then the expedited shipping they lower it to only eight dollars So I would choose expedited shipping no matter what just to get your products even faster for cheaper 
Um, so message me if you guys have any questions. I'm going to see you back here in about 10 minutes to do the try on with Style Snob for some re more really gorgeous holiday looks. And I will see you guys soon. Message me if you guys need any help or color matching. I love you all. See you in about 10 minutes. Bye.